I am getting ready to make French toast, everybody. Today's a haziest, gloomiest day. I have to keep this on because of the the vent. You know, I have asthma. I don't want to be getting that in my chest. And I felt like my chest was getting like too much of that smoke. But anyways, um, <clears throat> we're gonna make French toast, and it's gonna be fun. I haven't made French toast in. Shoot, it's been like about a couple years, but everybody requested it, so we're going to make it. Pretty much everybody's home off of work for today. There's one that's out, but we're in. We're probably going to do movie day. Movie day, right? And, uh, you know, take care of the animals. We got fish, a bird, dogs, a couple dogs, so we'll take care of them. Then we'll sit back back and relax um had our meeting on stream yesterday so we got our spiritual food um that's you know a great blessing because we always need that especially during the times that we're going through now so everybody's going to learn how to wash their hands a lot better i'm pretty sure after this is over with to be more clean um i'm charging this phone that's why i can't get too close to the um Anyways, uh, I feel a little better today. I know uh, unforeseen occurrences befall us all. And, you know, I, like I was bringing out in my other video, my family member, one of my close family members have died. And, you know, you got to be really careful how you do, you know, live your life. You know, if you get medication or whatever, just be careful how you take it. Do it the way they tell you because it is very, very uh, serious and it could be fatal if you don't, uh, you know, go by the doctor's rules. That's if, you know, that's the case. So just go by what they tell you. They know what they're talking about. Sometimes they don't, I'm pretty sure, but they usually double check and they know they can get sued if they don't tell you the right thing. There's been like prints. I think they gave him medications or something the wrong way. They can do that. And different, uh, people have died because of the wrong dosage that was given or if you abuse that dosage then you can possibly have a, a horrible uh, outcome but anyways I'm gonna make French toast guys well probably what do we want to do I know I've made a friend of mine her name is Ellie and she's so sweet I was just uh, emailing her on Facebook or you know messaging her on we we're messaging back and forth and I was talking about this peanut butter and jelly French toast that she made. She stuffed the French toast with peanut butter and jelly. I believe she stuffed it with peanut butter, maybe. And then the jelly you put, like, for instead of the, uh, the what's it called? The, um, no, I think she did put peanut butter and jelly. I have to look at that again. It's been, a, like, some years ago. But that, that French toast came out really good, and you cook it like French toast. You just stuff it. And then you make it like French toast, and then you, you know, you put the, um, you know, cinnamon or whatever in your, on it, and then you, you could put the powdered sugar. I think the powdered sugar is good, but they have a keto type of powdered sugar, but what difference does it make if you're using the toast? You could use the bread that, uh, keto made bread. So I'll do that one day. I just haven't, you know, with the things that are going on right now, I haven't had time to really go and search for all the goodies for the recipe so I'm going to just be using regular bread today and um, you know we'll see how that comes out it's going to it's going to be interesting well it's french toast yes we're using that bread the ticket's golden <laughs> and they know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about this bread Okay, because we don't usually buy bread. Our friends gave us this bread. Um, because there was nothing hardly left anywhere. And they're beautiful, aren't they? But this looks sustain you. You, you. Have the keto bread, that's good. You know, you're fortunate. But I, I didn't have anything stocked up. I didn't make any. I didn't have anything stocked up. But this will be okay. Um, Get in the new world we're gonna have all good fresh stuff so we don't have to worry about what we're eating um we probably will worry about it but it's not gonna be anything bad for us so 
I'm going to make some in this with this bread too first. Okay, so this is the thing. It's going to be kind of a weird situation here because I'm trying to set this up right. Okay, so <clears throat> for the French toast, what you want to do is take the yolk. Well, try that again. Have it dump it back in here. But if you don't want to get like the eggy taste that you don't want, use most of the, the egg yolk, okay? Because the white part is the thing that gives the French toast for you don't want that egg taste. So you got your your uh, egg yolk, and what you want to do is butter your piece of bread on both sides, butter, margarine, or whatever you use for your uh, stuff. Um, and another thing, you can use milk. Can you grab me the milk out of there, sweetie? Okay, butter it on both sides so that way. Um, I'm going to put a little vanilla, but I have this French vanilla creamer. Thank you. I have the French vanilla creamer. And you put about a quarter of a cup of milk. I'm just using a little bit of this, the creamer, to make it a little flavorful. Let's see. About a quarter of a cup with the egg. Okay. And I'm looking for cinnamon. Yep. Got pumpkin pie spice too. But I'm gonna use a little cinnamon. So we're gonna have some. That's probably quite a bit, so you don't have to put that much. Let me move that out of the way because I'll end up using that instead of the right. Now you got the Put the um, egg yolk in there. And for one egg yolk and about a quarter of a cup per, it's a little bit past once you put the egg in there, per um, piece of French toast, okay? That's about.